Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I don't know if you guys saw my last leftover paint pouring video. I'll put the link in the description in case you didn't. But basically I used really, really old paint instead of this paint, which is the one I was trying to use. So this paint's just from the last few weeks. So it should still be good. And for anyone who doesn't know how I save my paints is usually you have a little bit left over in your cup. I just put one on top of the other and drain them into each other. So you get this really fun combo of all kinds of colors and paints. So there should be no silicone in here. And I think this is a lot of the Arteza premixed pouring paints, but also some others. And I think this is too much paint for this canvas, so I'm not gonna use all of it. Oh, there we go. I think that's good for now. I'll save the rest for later. And I kind of was thinking, I've had a lot of fun with the Wrecker Ring pour, so I'll do that here. This really looks like Christmas though, right? She's using an old stick. Um, let's see. I think I like the kind of swirls through it. Sorry, I know that sound can be slightly grating. <laughs> okay, good. I think that's going to look awesome. These lines up here look super awesome. Um, so with leftover paint pours, you can definitely sometimes get some gloopiness. It totally happens. Like I can tell right here, I have a gloop, which is not a thing in the paint. It's kind of just some chunky dried paint. I don't generally worry about it too much. I just roll with it. I mean, you're, you're seeing what you can make with some leftover paint instead of throwing it away. And almost always I make something that I love. One of the things about leftover paint is the colors tend to get a bit more muted, which I actually really like. Um, it gives it kind of a soft feel. So this one's really interesting. I made a lot of lines in this one. Just, I think that's good. I like this. And I'm not even sure where that gloop went. It's in there still, <laughs> but I don't know exactly where. This is really pretty. I love this area with the muted colors over here, especially this blue, super pretty. And I like that, like maroon in there. And you see no cells really popping up. So good, there's no silicone as I suspected. Let's let this sit here for a little bit and then we'll do our close up. Okay, we're back. This one's pretty much staying put. Let's go ahead and do our close up. So starting on the lower right hand corner, see how beautiful this is. And nice muted colors, but look, still gorgeous lines. Up here we have Christmas. <laughs> so brighter lines. Um, this is the paint that was sitting on top, which is probably just the newest paint. Also really cool color combo. Look at that. Um, upper left hand corner. And down to the lower left hand corner. So really interesting, interesting piece. All right guys, so I think I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. I'm gonna come back when this is dry and we'll see the final results because the other thing too is with leftover paint pours, they do often craze, but usually not in a way that bothers me at all. So we'll see how it goes with this one. I'm sure it will be not as crazy as the last one, literally craze, crazy. Actually, I should have it right here, I'll show you. Yeah, this one went a bit crazy, but still fun. So we'll come back when this is all dry and we'll see how it looks then. And we're back. So this isn't completely dry, but it's mostly dry and it's done pretty much all the crazing it's going to do. Um, so it definitely did some crazing, but in some pretty awesome ways and I really love it. So let's do a, a new close up here. 
So you can see this is uh, the bottom right hand corner. It's completely dry here. And you can see this little crazing throughout kind of this whole section here. It's not a lot, just like a little um, upper right hand corner stayed pretty much the same there. That's completely dry. Upper left hand corner also dry and in here is where you start to see some really cool crazing. Like it, it crazed in all the right spots where you see that red there and you can tell the center is still a little bit wet. A little more crazing there. So like I said, these leftover paintings tend to craze, but I don't mind it at all. So I actually totally, totally love this piece. Let me know what you guys think. Um, now mind you also, it is going to be different. I've had different experiences with using paint that was maybe a week or a few days old in my cup versus this is, I think, about the three week mark. So um you know, you're going to get more crazing the older the paint is what I've found out with the leftover paint. But usually you get something pretty awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all next time.